Greetings, fellow traveler. Today, I want to remind you to trust the process. Trust that any and everything that is going on around you or within you is happening for a reason. It's divine evolution. It's an expansion of self. It's expansion of awareness, understanding. More, more importantly, it's an, it's an expansion of our power. It's not about being the victim of anything or anybody or any place. It's not about that. It's about simply being strong and knowing that your true essence is of God or whatever you believe in. And knowing that that power orders your steps, orders your thoughts. And when you make choices, you're guiding those order steps. So make sure you take as much accountability as you can as far as the choices for your life. That's my recommendation. You don't have to listen to me. Sometimes I don't listen to me, be honest with you. But it's a reminder how much power you do have. And no matter what choices you make, some part of you is sure-footed and moving in that direction. You will meet obstacles. You will meet challenges. But these are things that would expand your understanding of who you are and the power that you have. You can have a conversation with a random stranger and you won't realize it, but that's exactly what that person needed. Most of the time, it's exactly what you needed. You will find the answers to certain questions that you may have in various different ways. You just have to be open to it. It's not about saying, I want this answer to come to me this way. It's about being open to the answer coming to you in any way possible that stands out to you. And in doing so, you allow yourself to be open to various perspectives. But when that answer comes, you know it when you see it. Don't beat yourself up about what you do not understand or what you do not know. Being able to admit and truthfully say or act as if you do not know everything is where the power lies. It's knowing that you're going into uncharted territories as far as you and your journey and also understanding that you will hear some things to go bump in the night. You will have contact with things to go bump in the night. But you know that you chose that path for a reason for yourself. So you allow yourself to go through them bumps and bruises if need be. In order to move forward along your path. Now, we're moving this way. There are going to be people who fall by the wayside. There are going to be seeds that are dropped on barren land. Don't worry about that. That's a byproduct of taking your journey. You know these things happen. It has to happen. No matter what aspect of perspective you take on life, it's just part of the journey. So I tell you these things in all sincerity to remind you that not only do you have a power that's backing every choice that you make, but you truly have no idea of how beautiful things can be by simply embracing this idea. It's not an idea I created. I'm not even saying this idea solves the world's problems. But it's something that goes on within us as individuals as we go about our life. It's something within us that's looking for a spark. And some of us hold on to that spark. Some of us do not. Some of us walk through life with a hardened heart. And that's our normal. So we don't we don't have to we don't choose to open our mind to anything else. And in different areas of our lives, all of us have that because that's part of the creation of our experience. I'm here to encourage you to open your mind a little more. To say yes to the things you usually say no to and vice versa, say no to the things you usually say yes to. Because the more that you increase those no's, the more you stand on who you are. Yes can look many different ways. It could be simply complying. But the more you set the boundaries for yourself or who you are and move within that light, within that energy, you will see there will be resistance in ways that you did not perceive and that it's fine. Take a breath. Present. Understand the reality of your situation, the reality of your journey and know what truths you are seeking out. Because through experiences, through certain obstacles that we face, we find out more about who we are. That's why there's no point in worrying about failure or losses. No, there's no deficit on your journey. 
as you go through a journey, you learn ways to maneuver more efficiently as far as within your inner world. And the more efficiently you can move, the more you can influence the outcomes that you desire. And there's, there's an unlimited amount of things that we can change and shift within ourselves. So imagine what kind of perspective we could have just by making one shift, let alone two or three. If we allow this world to do all the thinking and the controlling and the maneuvering for us, y'all, we would stay stagnant and it's not going to help. But just in one day, in one moment, we can empower ourselves to do something a little bit different. That could shift the course of our life. Imagine what it could do for others around you just by living your life in that capacity. And we all have that. It's not just one or two special. No, we all have that ability to do it. There's a choice that must be made. And we can make the same choice and have different outcomes. That's okay. It's one of the beautiful aspects of this life experience. So as I share these thoughts with y'all, I want to remind you to trust in your power. Have faith in who you are. Don't worry about losses. Because anytime you have a failure or a loss or anything that's perceived that way, it's truthfully a lesson in that that just, it moves you forward in ways that you don't understand in the current moment until you use the lesson, you use the information that you received, and then you see it. Now, I've been on both ends of this situation. I've been on the side of regret where I didn't do what I knew I was intuitively guided to do. And then other times I just follow what I knew was the right direction for me and it worked. It didn't work for everybody, but it worked for me. It's going to be the same for any and every person. I'm here to remind you that you are worth taking a chance on. It don't matter how much I believe it. You must believe it. Until next time, be blessed. And please, don't forget to smile.